Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am over the moon about today's video. This is a fantastic coach. Uh, this is a 2024 Baystar 3014. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live here on Monday. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're a lot of great places. So always tune in to me at RVs Inside Out or check us out on TTT RV for a walkthrough five days a week of a fantastic RV. As usual though, Jody, I love to start my RVs from the inside out. So please go ahead and take her on back. So today's model is super cool for anybody who wants to have flexibility while camping with their family. This is a short coach. A lot of you out there are looking for things that are under 35 feet. This coach is under 31 feet. It comes in at 30 feet, 11 inches, and it is chock full of all sorts of amazing features. First and foremost, this bedroom that we're walking into right now is super, super luxurious. I think one of the things that I wanted to bring out today is not only um, the function that you have from a sleeping standpoint, so in other words, all of this room on either side to get in and out of the bed, this great tuck space, these fantastic blackout shades, so you have both night and day shades with cross ventilation as well, a beautiful tufted headboard, great over cabinet storage. I mean, all of these features that are so luxurious, but on top of that, in this 2024 3014, you also have this, which is a really nice treat. You have a rear window out the back. So take a look at all of this visibility that you have. If you are camping uh, like I was at the beginning of this year in San Diego, in San Alejo, a lot of those camp spots have this um, campground where you're backing into the beach. So you can't see the ocean because you don't have a window back here. This coach is really made for that Southern California beach camping experience. Um, and on top of it, it's got some great storage capacities. So take a look at this. This closet is 21, or I'm sorry, 41 inches wide, 42 inches tall, and 20 inches, uh, 20 inches deep. Sorry, I was trying to read my own notes. So I've got little stickers throughout this coach, so you can go ahead and pause or rewind to that little spot. So if you want to look at these measurements later on down the road, you can. Um, but again, 41 inches of closet space back here for hanging wardrobe. And then you've got these great drawers as well. So this is an 11 inch deep by 19 inch wide drawer. It's eight inches tall. There's two of these. There are three of these 17 inch are 17 inch deep drawers that are 20 inches wide and also eight inches tall. But one of the things I really like about these drawers is not only do they have this nice soft close feature where they stay nice and, and closed um, and they're, you know, they're not slamming shut. This is again, one of those really luxurious coaches, but right here in this little corner on this lip, I can actually sit down and put my shoes on. Uh, so this is a great feature in this coach. Another feature I want to show that I really love about this coach is here under the bed. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. I had someone who came in this weekend and she's like, oh, if I can lift it up, mine's so hard to lift up. And I thought, oh, that's funny because we really don't have a hard to lift up bed in the Numar. Um, now, another great feature is on either one of these nightstands, you've got two USB ports as well as a 110 outlet. So if you've got a CPAP machine you want to put down below, you're welcome to do so. So again, under bed storage, a great place on either side for your CPAP machine, a nice place where you can plug in your iPhone or your Samsung at night while you're sleeping so it can get that full charge. And then this cushion here is for one of the sleeping accommodations in this coach. So this coach has got a ton of sleeping. Now this is not always necessary. Of course, we're not always trying to have company, but if you do have littles and maybe your son and daughter that wanna go camping with you, on that offset, we have a bunk over the cab. We have a queen size fold, fold, or pull out trifold sofa. And then we have another 50 inch uh, bed in the dinette area as well. So tons and tons of sleeping space. Uh, and then back here above this queen bed, you'll see we have great storage as well as an additional two 110 outlets up here. And this coach does have the optional auxiliary heater in the bedroom. Now, for those of you who don't like measurements, this is not your video. 
Um, I'm going to do a few measurements today, not a ton, but just measurements so that we can talk about the things that might be useful to you while you're camping, like where you can put your coffee pot, your toaster, those types of things. But I wanted to show you this as well. So you also have this nice window which opens here. So at night, if you want to open those two windows and have cross ventilation, you can have that here in your bedroom as well. And then they're really easy to just like just latch through like you would on it, like one of those um, old you know canning jars, just slide and pop. Another great feature here, of course, is that we have a nice place to put uh, our anything that we need to on our nightstand, our wallets, our keys. If you want to charge a laptop here, there's also a 110 outlet above. And then, of course, we've got our Samsung television. Uh, please note that in these new Mars, when we're looking at features like this, we've got a lot of coaches that are in competitive markets that have insignia TVs. You've got really nice high-end products throughout this RV. So Samsung television here. You've got another Samsung television in the front. Um, really nice high-end features. And then on top of it, you've got this great Norcold refrigerator. Now this is not one of the upgraded options. You could also have a larger refrigerator with a smaller pantry, um, but I think that this is a great use of space. And in my coach, my experience in San Diego was that even though we had an ice maker, we would always go buy, buy a bag of ice uh, for our cooler. You could probably fit four or five bags of ice in this refrigerator freezer combination with this adjustable shelf. And then another nice feature is another adjustable shelf here, where if you do have taller goods, you can put jugs of milk in that uh, area since these door pockets are going to be better relegated for things like, you know, ketchup, mustard, butter, all those things. Um, and then here, Again, as I mentioned, this pantry is great. So this pantry is seven, 27 inches deep, so that's really deep space. And as you can see, this opening here is about seven inches wide, but it's 12 inches on the interior here, so a lot of room for your pantry. And then the openings of these come anywhere from 12 to 14 inches, depending on which shelf you're looking at. But plenty of storage there for your goods while you're on, going down the road. And then on top of it, we've got this really nice partition. So if you are having company with you, you've got a lot of uh, nice separation from the front of the cab to the rear of the cab because this is a mid-bath model. Now keep in mind, there's quite a few models that come uh, in the base star. So the base star went from 11 models last year in 2023 to 20, I'm sorry, to eight models in 2024. So they've cut down uh, on their models. Between 30 and 34 feet, there are four models. And then uh, after that, we've got a few 36 co uh, foot coaches. There's three of those. And then 138, which is of course a handicap accessible model. Uh, we did a video on that last week. So if you missed that, great coach um, for anybody who's in a wheelchair just amazing product quality for people who want to get out there and on the road. Now, if you look down here, you'll see we have this really beautiful synthetic wood floor. This is a great laminate floor. What's nice about this is all of these new laminate floors, if you have anything that drops, you know, they're very, very resistant to any kind of cracking or tile, you know, tile damage because they're not an actual um, porcelain tile. So this is a great looking floor. It also looks a lot like real wood. I mean, just in, if you were to come in and take a look at this in person, I would be happy to stand by the fact that it's a very, very nice synthesized product. It looks great. Now I did bring my tape measure with me somewhere. It's behind you, Jody. Jody's always trying to hide my tape measure. Now I know I got a lot of you in there that say, hey, bad job, Jody. You didn't hide Katie's tape measure well enough. Um, I'll tell you, I sell so many coaches to people who are really interested in them because of the fact that I do measurements. So if you're just looking for a quick browse through, my RV videos are a little more in depth. I might not be your girl, but we have so many talented salespeople here that have a different approach. So you might want to tune into TTTRV on YouTube and find one of them instead. Okay, so this bathroom or this shower is one thing I wanted to mention. So real, real depth here, 26 and a half inches deep. And then when I'm in here, this is so amazing. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I just got back from Southern California, 39 and a half inches wide. This is a huge shower. Uh, when I was in San Alejo, one of the benefits that we had is they had a really nice shower house. So when we were boondocking, we could take showers there. But I mean, we're talking about here over 82 inches of height. That's 85 inches if you go all the way to the top of the skylight. So no matter how tall you are, you're gonna have plenty of room here. And then they have these nice little pockets to put your razor, your soap, you know, all of those things while you're in here. So this is a great, 
great shower space. And then on top of it, we have a robe hook right here next to the exit. So when you do get out of the shower, you've got your robe right here. We've got our Dometic pump toilet as well. But take a look at how beautiful this vessel sink is. I mean, this is such a classy unit. So what I found was really interesting is here in Colorado, when we go camping, we see so many big diesel pushers, you know, 43, 45 foot coaches, you know, Dutch Stars, Essex, Ventanas. Um, in Southern California, there's a ton of small trailers. There's a ton of bounders, you know, there's a ton of gas coaches. And I'll tell you, there was nothing as nice as this in our campground. And this is such an affordable price point. There was a ton of Navions. I'll tell you what, this coach is within $30,000 of the price point of a Navion. And with a 75 gallon uh, freshwater tank, a 60 gallon gray water tank, and a 40 gallon black water tank, those specs are completely uh, out, of the, out of this world. They are double what you'll find uh, from a usage standpoint in the water capacity, the freshwater capacity of any of those Navions. So this is a really great coach, not just from a room capacity, because you've got these two huge slides on this coach, but also from a water and storage capacity, not to mention the fact that we are solar prepped for this unit. So if you wanted to put another three or four solar panels on top of this unit, um, it's pre-wired for them. And at 200 watts as a panel, you could have 800 watts of solar on top of this coach, making it fantastic for boondocking. Um, now also in this RV, you're gonna have things that you don't have in any of those other Mercedes-based products. This Ford chassis has a fantastic uh, medicine cabinet, tons and tons of space. Um, this is exactly the layout that I have in my Superstar. Uh, so we did take our 40-foot Superstar down to San Alejo and also to Camp Land on the Bay. We spent three, work, three weeks out on the road figuring out the difference between camping with a 50-amp, a 30-amp, and then boondocking ports as well. And I've got to tell you, it was such a great learning experience. If you've got questions about being out on the road and functionality, I would be happy to cover them with you. Um, one of the nice features here, of course, is that you can run your hair dryer, your flat iron. You've got plenty of room. The, this big drawer here is a great place to keep your hairbrush and your um, toiletries. But look at all the space that you'd have down here for towels, toilet paper, and then that treatment you're gonna use for your black tank. And then even more uh, room down here for your cleaning supplies. And then here's your toilet paper dispenser as well. Um, so I, I can't speak highly enough of the area where we were camping. We had so much fun. But what I realized when I was down there is that not everybody needs a diesel pusher. If you're trying to get coastal, if you want to be out in Baja, if you want to be, uh, you know, if you want to be out in the, maybe Northern California along, you know, Big Sur, wherever it may be that you're looking to go camping, these gas coaches are all over the place and nothing has the kind of quality that you're going to find here in a Numar. Now, one of the things that really differentiates this product from the rest is going to be our electronics. So this touch panel gives you a great example. If I go here into the bedroom, I can go to bedroom here and I can turn my ceiling lights off, my reading lights off, and my overhead dresser lights off and just leave on my accent lights. And you can see you've got this beautiful soft glow coming from behind your accent panels. It's also here on the back corner as well. So what that does for you is when you're camping, when you walk into your coach, you don't always want all of your lights on. So with this, you can really specify and fine tune which lights you have on your coach. But not only that, you can go into this app and you can actually program it so it's working from your phone and you can control both your front and your rear uh, heat here. Now keep in mind, this coach has a 5.5 kilowatt uh, generator running it right now. We also have uh, the Truma tankless hot water system, a 25 gallon propane tank. Um, so you've got all the heat that you need for this coach, whether it be through your furnace, which is gonna be here. Oh, let's see, let's turn this on. So your furnace, so we've got cool, auto, and then you also have heat pump and furnace. So those are your different modes and then just the pure fan. So if you just wanna have fresh air coming into the coach, you can do that as well. Um, but with a 25 gallon propane tank, I mean, that's just so much storage for not only your um, 
your accessories, for instance, your cooktop, but also for your tankless hot water heater and for your furnace. So really nice features here. And then you have two air conditioners, not just one. So you're going to have a much cooler experience. Um, where we camped with our 30 amp, we were only able to use one AC. But of course, in California, you don't really need that. Another place you don't really need it is in the Rocky Mountains when you're up at elevation. Of course, it's usually quite a bit cooler. Uh, now again, that propane tank is going to come in really handy on this three burner cooktop. This suburban cooktop has a nice place to have a towel rack as well. And then look at this drawer storage. You have so much room here. These are great full extension drawers. And I did mean to measure this one, so I'll just go ahead and do that real quickly. Uh, so we've got 24 by, if I believe I'm correct yet, by 23. So a lot of room here in terms of depth, just over four inches there. So plenty of room. And then you've got two of these drawers. This one's going to be a little bit deeper. So for those of you who are looking to be able to put your frying pans and cook pots in there, you're going to want to be looking at about seven inches in terms of depth there as well. Uh, but tons and tons of space here. And then speaking of space, um, not only do we have a ton of counter spot, countertop space, but we have this beautiful tile backsplash. I love what they've done with this this year. It's really, really subtle. It's a nice, high quality looking backsplash and it's also gonna be very easy to clean. And then this counter is 68 inches wide and 26 inches deep at the most narrow point of it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, high-end appliances, we have our Whirlpool induction and convection microwave oven, and it also has an air dryer feature on here. So, you know, you've got air fry, convection, and microwave. So all the different things that you want, if you're looking for an air fryer for maybe your tater tots or your french fries, all of that's here. And then you've got these great full extension drawers, once again, this is a little more narrow, but a great place for spatulas. And then again, that nice soft close feature the whole way through. Now it's interesting, if I emailed you the window sticker to this, it would say Amaretto, but this is the Amaretto interior. Um, and it's a really beautiful, nice rosy wood interior. Scrubby drawer, right, it's all important. Tons of cabinet space down here for your bigger pots and pans. Um, and then underneath here, you've got a double, uh, stainless steel undermount sink so this is a great feature and you do have that pour and spray feature on your water wand which means you can clean out the interior sink very easily as well as a rear window and as i mentioned all of these all of these windows are going to have really nice uh blackout screens so if you have someone who's sleeping up here you don't have to have all of this light coming in uh, so I did measure both of these cabinets. Uh, this cabinet here and then the one on the ground behind us are both going to be 13 inches wide, 16 inches deep, and then 17 inches tall. So if you're trying to figure out where to put your coffee pot or your rice cooker, any of those things, you can do that. And then keep in mind, because of the fact that you have an air fryer uh, right here in your microwave, you don't need to actually bring one of those with you. So that's another toasters and coffee pots are pretty much the main things you're going to need to be able to have accommodations for. And again, this measurement is just about the same as that other one that we just looked at overhead. And then look at these big full extension drawers here under this television. These are just amazing. So this is going to be uh, 31 by 11 and then six inches tall. And I think that this one's just a little taller. So let's just go ahead and measure to make sure. Yeah, this one's about eight. So this is a little bit deeper as well. Now, again, high-end appliances. You've got your Bose soundbar here. You also have your, so this is a smart TV. Um, there's a few things that we added to this coach. So when I look at these RVs, the way that I'm looking at these these days, you guys, just so you know, is, I mean, I'm really pretty well versed in our product line, but what I've been doing is I've been actually taking the MSRP for the coach and then I've been looking through and line adding them all the options that come on the RV so you can see your base price, your accessories, and everything that's on this RV versus what's not on it. So I can send you not only this, but I can also send you the order guides so that you can take a look and see what other options are available to you. So for instance, you could have theater seating. You could have a Euro dinette that's fully extendable. You could have this Norcold 15 inch cubic foot refrigerator um, that's gonna have a smaller pantry, or it removes the pantry. So um, as I mentioned, we did not upgrade that refrigerator because that pantry space there is pretty valuable to most people. But you can see all of those things. And then on top of it, from Numar, we have a really nice um, availability where we can see what changed on the 2024 Baystar, right? So different floor plans that are being offered. Um, there's a few things that I wanna talk about. So I'm gonna read through some of these. 
The Ford chassis on the Base Star for 2024 will provide Ford Motor Company's driver's assistance package as a standard feature. So for those of you that are out there in the world looking at new cars, as you know, every single, you know, Kia, Toyota, it, it, Hyundai, it doesn't matter what it is, everything has these safety features. So Ford found it necessary to upgrade into that market. They've changed their M2106 chassis on the Super Cs. They've changed their drive assist packages that are available on their Class As. And on this Ford chassis, you have a whole bunch of features. But what's really nice about this, these are all standard features. So you're going to have forward collision mitigation. Now, is that going to stop you from crashing into somebody? Maybe not, but it's going to certainly lessen the amount of damage you have. You're going to have automatic high beams, emergency braking, uh, distance indication and alert, post braking, uh, post impact braking as well, so your coach won't continue to roll if you're not able to hold the brake yourself. And then you also have a lane departure warning system that uses a camera system provided by Ford and is mounted on the windshield, as well as a driver or alert system and message center. So I'm going to show you uh, those things on the dash today. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's important to understand I have a lot of clients who go, oh my gosh, I do not need that. I would turn that off. I turn that off in my coach. I don't like those features. These are options that you have in life. You can turn uh, these features off or turn them up and down in terms of in intensity. So don't feel like you're relegated to using them. But note that if you are interested in using them, they're there for you. Um, now, I want to talk about this couch area. So a lot of our coaches have very small dinette spaces. So this is so nice. I showed you earlier that insert that turns us into a sleeping area. But more important, if you do have littles with you and you want to be able to have dinner, you can fit four full-fledged adults in this. And if you're wondering how deep this cushion is from here, you're about 37 and a half, 38 inches from the actual bolster. So that's actual sitting space hip to hip. So you have, you know, if you've got someone who's 16 inches wide and someone who's 12, you're going to have plenty of room. Maybe not as much elbow room as you'd like, but that's okay. Just get comfortable. It's family camping. Uh, 21 inches uh, on the, for, this, uh, for this entrance here. These are completely open the whole way through, which is so convenient. You can have really long things here, or you could have those shoe boxes I always talk about. The, uh, the depth here is 16 inches, and then the height here is six and a half. And I'm just taking into account these little knobby things so that you can really make sure you can buy, you know, containers that you can get in here and then stack the whole way across. So tons of storage here. As I mentioned earlier, this is a tri-fold sofa. I love it when I have my cushions that fit together. So that's just so nice because I can very easily lift those up and get them out of the way. So never let your handle disappear into the center there. You always want to make sure you have that. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to show this today is because I get a lot of people who say, can you walk through this with it deployed? No, you're going to have to crawl over the top. If that helps you to understand that in advance of coming out here to make a purchase, that's great. We do have three seat belts back here and another one over here. So we've got a total of six seat belts in this unit. And this coach can very comfortably sit two adults, one child, and another child here. You could even probably put two littles up here. This is going to be 48 inches deep, 79 inches across, and 56 inches from the ground right here to the floor. So plenty of room for the littles. Um, one of the benefits of this bunk over cab in the Baystar is the amount of height you have up here. In some of my Super Cs, we have bunk over cab, but if their space is only 21 inches to the ceiling, it becomes really tough. Look at how they do that. Isn't that cool? The front of this is actually tied in. So if, when you have this space up here to make full use of it, What's nice about it is it's actually tall enough where the kids can get up there and sit down. So they're not, in, in some of our bunk over cabs, we have the lay down space, but we don't really have the height where they can actually sit up there, hang out, do whatever kids do when they don't want to talk to their parents. Uh, another thing that's nice about this, so at 27 inches, plenty of hangout space. Uh, but the other benefit is if you looked at our Ventana video, we have a 2024 Ventana with this new bedroom configuration as well. Uh, it does not, it comes down over the front door. This, so this door can actually be accessed with your bed in place without having to put it up. So that's a really nice feature in this Baystar. So not only do you have a great bed, but you have a bed that you don't have to put up and down every day, you know, before you try to exit your coach. 
And the other thing I think is really interesting about this is when I got into this RV, I at first didn't even notice it had a bed until I looked up there and saw the control and I was like, oh wow, this is a bunk over cab. This is so nicely done. You still have all the storage up here. You still have all the storage. Now, of course, you don't have a TV in the front going down the road. Um, so that's something worth noting. But in the 3014 Base Star, your TV is stationary. So it's not like one of those ones that's on a televator that pops up. So you can actually keep that out and watch television that way. It's just the kids would be the ones watching the movies. The driver would have to actually keep their eyes on the road. Let me get this one real quick. Try to make sure we open all these cubbies for you. Now, one of the things that we did do with this smart TV is we did program this coach, or not program it, order it so that it has a link through to put Starlink in overhead. So if you want to have Starlink, you can do that. But the other thing that this coach has, and I couldn't find the printout for it. I'm going to read it right now. There's two different Wi-Fi systems. This is the Everest router. So the Everest router has two SIM card slots. So you could actually put like a Verizon and an AT&T or a T-Mobile and an AT&T, whatever you like, into this router. And it's got also got a higher bandwidth and a higher reach as well. So this is a really good Wi-Fi system already. It's cellular based. So between that and satellite, if you go somewhere like uh, upstate, you know, California and you're maybe in the Redwoods, you know, the Sequoia National Park, for instance, where there's a ton of canopy coverage and your Starlink's not working, this would get you through there. Conversely, if you go somewhere like out in the desert and you're, you know, maybe down in Indio and you're camping, you would be able to go and have your Starlink with that full fledged uh, accessibility and just use your, just use your uh, Netflix or your Hulu accounts and not need to have cable. Uh, up here though, you'll also see everything is pre-wired. So if you decided that you wanted to plug anything in, we've got your pre-wire access here for your television as well. So lots of different op options for connectivity here. Another nice feature, two 110 outlets next to this booth here for the kids to be able to plug in their devices when you are traveling down the road. And then there's a ton of storage underneath here. So that's a ton of places. Now this is where I keep all of my bowls, all of my plates and all of my placemats and all of my napkins. Um, so in our RV, because whenever you're making your breakfast or your dinner, the kids have to set the table, everything's right there at your feet. Um, so another feature that they opted for with this coach, which is definitely one of my favorites, is gonna be this little desk, which pops out. There we go, sorry. So just so you know, when you pop this out, see how it just popped up like that? I'm always a little leery because it'll come up and get you in the shin. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a nice desk. These, of course, both completely rotate. So if you wanted to have an extra seating area, let's say you did have six people, you could have the kids eating up here and all the parents. And, you know, so it might be mom, dad, and son and daughter there with the littles up here having, uh, having their own space to eat eat dinner. So that's plenty of room for six people inside. And I know a lot of people go, well, when you're camping, you don't really need to have, um, you don't need to have table space. But I hate to say this. I just went to San Diego. And when I was there, we had great weather. But from what I understand right now, they are having like record rain. So if you do get stuck in your coach, this is going to be a really comfortable coach. Now, Jody, if you want to pop back over here, just show behind us. This is what a full wall slide looks like. That drawer is making me bonkers. I'm going to go close it real quick. Uh, so this full wall slide goes all the way back here. Um, so this is so much room with just this one slide open. The other side, of course, is this bedroom slide. But as you can see, so much room in this coach. Uh, so if you do get stuck inside, it's very comfortable in here. Um, now, we are going to pull the slides in, but before we do that, I do want to just show you some of these great new features. So first of all, they've really upgraded the radio system. That happened last year. The big change for this, for this chassis is going to be in that safety assurance package. And you can see that mounted right there in the front. And then as you can see here, we've got this big, beautiful dash. And what's so nice about this is so I can go into, for instance, digital speedometer. And I can tag down and see my engine hours, my idle hours. I can see my, uh, when I need to get my vehicle maintained, so how long I've had my oil changed. I can also go over here to this uh, trip, uh, trip computer, which is going to show me my fuel history. 
right? So I can see what I've been getting. I can see my fuel economy. I can see trip two and I can see trip one. So I can set those separately. And then I also have my star menu here where I can choose which things I want to have at the closest. So maybe I have trip one, the fuel economy, or I can go over here to settings and I can get into my pre-collision. So like we said, pre-collision on, you can turn that on and off. I know that that's important for a lot of people that they want to be able to turn things on and off. So active braking, same thing. You can turn that off. You can turn your distance indication on and off. You can see it's right there. And then you're, you can also set up your alert sensitivity where you have high, normal, and low. I'm going to change this to normal because I think that that's, you know, you don't want it to be annoying. You want people to keep it on. So I think if we keep it at normal. That's good. Uh, and then you have here your lane keeping systems. So you can turn your sensitivity to normal or increase. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to normal. As you can tell, whoever was driving this coach knew a lot about what they were doing and they were actually using this system in a more uh, exaggerated format. And I'll tell you, these guys drive these coaches out from Indiana. They know how to drive everything, but I know they love these new systems. Now you can also see it says 534 miles to empty. Another feature that's different for this year. Oh, and then you can turn your uh, lane keeping system on and off right here with just the touch of a button. You don't have to go into any of your uh, systems. You can do it right there next to your hazard lights, which are easy to find this year. For some reason, we've always liked to uh, hide our, our hazard lights. Uh, but no, another thing that we have that's different for this year is your headlight systems have an auto high beam control. So you can actually turn your automatic high beams on so that if you've got someone coming towards you, your, your high beams will dim. So if you're in those mountain passes, maybe you're driving up, you know, from um, Morro Bay, you know, through Big Sur to Carmel, and you're driving down those windy roads, you can make sure you're not blinding oncoming traffic. You've got your dome light control here. You've got your overhead fans. I know you can't see them like the little drop downs we used to have, but they're still there. Uh, we can start and stop our generator from here. And then our battery boost, of course, is just to get us started. Left and right mirrors along with heat as well. And then down here you have this little guy here. This is your uh, parking brake. If you, there's a little tab down here, you pull this down. This is up and down and then in and out telescopic. So uh, you have telescopic steering. You have your cruise control right here on your steering pad. You have your smart level equalizer leveling system as well. A big window that opens so you can have this open with a screen going down the road. I've got some of these shades deployed just so you can see how dark you can make it. And keep in mind these you could drive with. So for those of you who get that little tint of an eyebrow on there, you don't need to do that with this coach because they're already going to be there. Uh, the radio here is fantastic. It's really easy to use. AM, FM, you've got, you can dial in your number directly. Your home feature will show you. You have such nice things like you've got Apple CarPlay now, which of course is fantastic. And then on this coach, not only do you have Apple CarPlay and Sirius, you also have Android Auto. So for those of you who are looking for Android Auto, this coach has that. And then uh, we can also go through, we can look at our camera systems. Uh, this is, of course, the rear view camera. And then when you turn your turn signal on, it shows you the right camera. And when you turn your other turn signal on, it shows you the left camera. Oh, yeah, she's mad at me. She's like, you're not going anywhere and your brakes, your engine's on. Um, so really cool system here. And then uh, Bluetooth, of course, is important for everybody. Bluetooth audio. And then you also have a micro SD card. So if you want to bring some information or not some information, but some music, and then have it downloaded that you can play that as well. And then your settings are really easy to work through. As you can see, very much state of the art, very contemporary. Um, and you know, for those of you who have been um, with the Baystar product in the, in the past, who have one now, I can assure you that since I started doing this, I've watched many iterations of coaches. But today, when I got into this RV, I was so surprised at how current everything is in this RV. This is by far one of the best values for dollars on the entire market. I mean, if you're in the market and you're looking at anything um, on a Ford chassis like an F550 or something that's kind of like a C plus type of chassis, I really encourage you before you make that buying decision, you've got to drive something like a Class A. The stability is so much better. The headroom is so much better. The space in the coach is so much better. I'm a really big fan of the Class A versus the C segment. Um, and I'll put my, I'll, I'll, I'll go down the road with you. I do a ton of Navion videos. You know, it's a great product, but man, if you're not looking at this first just to rule it out or rule it in, I really think you're missing the boat. 
Um, so over here, I did install this desk that they give us by Williamsburg. This is great furniture, by the way. These seats are super comfortable. And as I mentioned, they do uh, both rotate. You can see there's a wireless charging dock over there as well. Plenty of air. If you've got any kind of kitty or small puppy, this is a great space for them. You could totally put like a few little cat beds up there and have your flying furry friends traveling down the road with you. And again, a fully opening window as well. And then another nice feature in this coach is we've always had all of these little black dot, these little black patio lights and such. So now we have our KIB switches throughout the coach. So this is a really nice high end feature. So you could turn your lights on high or low. You can control everything here again by your KIB switches or more so if you want to control them, you can control them again through that phone app. Now you'll note up here is where I've got my bed control. So this is for the up and down. This is gonna be for my Truma AquaGo system. Again, tankless hot water, 75 gallons. I've got my awning lights on so we can take a look at those. I've locked my step. I've got my carefree awning fully deployed. My Xantrex inverter, of course, is on and running because I'm running the generator. I'll show you how to turn that off from outside of the vehicle. I know you saw the control from the inside, but there's a few different places to do it. But before we do anything, we're gonna go ahead and bring the slide in. Now another feature worth mentioning on this coach is the fact that when you are in these front uh, areas, there are USB ports and power to all of these. So another thing that's changed, of course, since you know we started selling these base stars is the amount of connectivity people are used to having in their coach. Everyone's online all the time. You're using that to find your campsites, all of those things. Uh, we've got all that connectivity up here where the driver's bay is too. So you don't have to go back here to plug in. You can do it right from your coach or right from your driver's seat. Look at this room though, this is so impressive. So for anybody who is trying to get down the road that wants to have uh, you know, access to the bedroom, access to the bathroom, plenty of room to get through here. Um, I get a lot of questions about whether or not you can open that refrigerator or the microwave. Absolutely, you can get all the way in. And then there's that pantry space. Now please keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, if you decide to get that bigger refrigerator, um, I don't know how much space you gain, but you lose your pantry. So these are all really important things. Um, this is the only 30 foot floor plan that we have. We have a 31, we have a 32, and then we jump to some 36 foot floor plans. And then after 36, we go of course to that one handicap model, which is 38. Um, on this coach though, even though it's very petite, the smallest in this segment, it's got a 19 foot long awning. Look at the size of that awning, isn't that amazing? And then another nice feature here, you've got storage underneath. So if you do have fine feathered friends that you're taking with you, um, you know, your pet peacock, whatever it might be, you've got a nice little feeding dish for her right there. No, but seriously, for kitties, for dogs, uh, your watering dishes, all those things. Now I did wanna make mention of this. So one of the things, um, that we do when we're out on the road is we talk about where we go, what we've done. Of course, like I said, San Alejo Beach was one of my favorite campsites to drive by as a little kid. And I was like, oh man, when I grow up, I'm gonna stay there. But I went to Ardsley Road down in Solana Beach. It's within walking distance of San Alejo. That's where I got this fantastic blouse. And the sales associate there was so nice. She sent me, you know, a text message and said, you know, thanks so much for coming in. She was really inquisitive about, you know, my, my RV station. So she was asking me about, you know, RVs inside out on YouTube. And um, I just really appreciated her. So I thought I'd give Ardsley Road a little plug. Fantastic uh, outfits there. Really fun, high quality clothing. Again, San Alejo was a great place to go camping. Now, if you do go camping there, I want you to know, you can actually have a 3,570 pounds of stuff in this RV and still have that 5,000 pound towing capacity. Now, with uh, 360 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque, this coach is gonna have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Please make sure you have your vehicle weighed. It would be great for a Mini Cooper or for a Jeep Wrangler, but those Cherokees get up over that 5,000 pound limit and you wanna make sure you're not stressing your chassis. You wanna make sure it can also stop where it's supposed to stop. Uh, now you'll see here we have Again, that side, that side camera, the new Ford V8, which is you know more power for less fuel. 
less leader size. Your Alcoa rims are gonna be 22 and a half inch uh, tires. The reason that this is gonna matter to you is these Alcoa rims are gonna give you less reverberation going down the road, a quieter drive. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Um, now underneath here, we do have uh, the optional 110 volt heat pad on this water tank. And then you could also see you've got your uh, inverter right here. I've got all of the lights turned on. There's a, there's a light switch to turn on these LED lights inside. And then they also have their own manual on and off. So nice to have lighted bays. Uh, this, tell, this does not have a TV outside, um, but it does have connections for you if you would like to have your television outside. So another storage bay here. And those are those connections here. So if you had satellite, you could connect to your satellite or your cable from right out here as well. Again, nice lighted cargo interiors. This is your Truma system right here. Um, one of the things to note about this, so on these Truma systems, you'll see that it says power on or power on and then off is in the middle. So it's not power on is up and power off is down. Off is in the middle. So if you don't have it either to the up or down position, it's not going to be on. So I get a lot of phone calls where they're like, my Truma system's not working. And I'm like, it's probably not on. And they're like, no, we flipped the switch. And I'm like, yeah, you, you probably didn't flip it to the right position. So just know that that's kind of a weird toggle switch. We haven't exactly figured out why they do that, but they do. Again, your Alcoa rims here. Here's that rear bedroom slide. And then here underneath the rear is your little quiet diesel generator. So again, this is a five uh, kilowatt diesel generator, or 5.5 kilowatt diesel generator. And then here in the back, more storage. This would be a great place to put one of those, uh, one of those fire pits, those Outlander fire pits, if you wanted to. And then take a look at how much space you have under that awning. What a great amount of storage space. Now we also do have the optional rear ladder on this coach. It's only a few hundred dollars if it comes with the coach. It's quite a bit more expensive to add it after the fact. And then here you have your 50 foot long power cable as well as your surge protector. This is a driver side gas fill coach. So driver side right here for fill. And then this little guy here is a place to keep your gravity hose. So, and you can also keep some gloves there. That's a great thing. We always have gloves underneath. Another storage compartment. Again, nicely lit. Now you'll notice there's a little hose down here on the right hand side. That's gonna be runoff for you. So that means that the top of your coach, instead of dripping down the sides of it, it's gonna have a nice little place for the, all the water to drain off. And then over here, we've got our full water base. So again, uh, the an optional whole house water filter is right here. You've got your fresh water fill right here. You've got your, um, your city connection right here. You've got a hot and cold shower here as well. You can turn your water pump out on from outside in your bay, which is a nice convenience. So just great for rinsing off those surfboards or those paddle boards. And then I love the fact that your gravity hose has its own little place where you can keep it. So you can keep your gravity hose separate from your freshwater hose. And then here, as you can see, this coach has been winterized. It's very easy to winterize. The slide mechanism in there as well. And then we've got four batteries here. These are deep cycle marine grade batteries. Uh, you can upgrade to six. There is a standalone feature. If you get one of those uh, bigger refrigerators, it will upgrade you to six batteries. There's also a standard, um, it upgrades your inverter and gets you six batteries as well. To be honest with you, with this coach, as much power as it has, it's really kind of an obsolete feature. I don't know that I'd spend the extra money on it. Um, this is so much nicer than anything that I saw uh, at any of the parks that I was uh, camping at. Everyone would come by and be like, oh my gosh, you have a Numar? This is like the Taj Mahal. And it's kind of funny because in my world, like I'm kind of a midline coach in the world of things. But when I went to Southern California, uh, you can see we got little D right over here in our camping ground. Uh, so when I went to Southern California, people would come over and see little D and they would like be like, oh man, can we have a tour? Can we, can we take a look at that coach? And I would be like, yeah, sure, come on in. Give them the full tour. 
Uh, here's that 25 gallon propane tank. And then as you can see here, when you open these windows, one of the things that's gonna be really nice is that they pop out so you can have the rain coming down, still have the fresh air within the coach. And then of course, this entire full wall slide has got a slide cover on top of it as a standard feature. Now, uh, this is gonna be the Leland exterior. Uh, and then on the, inter on the interior, we had Burma exterior last week. This year we have, or this week we have Lima, or the Leland exterior color. And then we've got the Burma interior color. So the Burma interior decor, of course, is absolutely beautiful with the Amaretto. Again, better headlights starting in 2023 for Numar. Um, and then that automatic high beam control. As you can see, you've got your camera up here for your lane tracking package. You've got your distance control radar down here. Um, this is just an awesome opportunity. Look at the size of that beautiful windshield. Look at the interstate going down the road. Such a comfortable drive. I mean, you're really driving in two full recliners. Uh, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous coach. And if you're wondering what these colors are, this is almost like a blackish navy blue, a nice bright pop white, a light silver, and then a dark gray down here. So this is just a beautiful color combination. Um, and again, this is a 3014 Baystar. It came in on Friday, so this has not been PDI'd yet, um, which is really a strong testament to how well Numar is manufacturing their coaches. We're able to just rinse them off, get them out here for video for you, get pictures, get them up online before we even have to have a mechanic touch them because they're just coming in off the line flawless this, these days. Numar is doing such a great job. If you decide you think this coach might be the one for you, you're looking at stock number 5N230. 650 again 5 and 230 650 and i'd love you to call me this is that's how i make my living you guys pick up that phone like subscribe put comments down below uh, i'm katie o'neill i'm here at trans west truck trailer rv in frederick colorado i can't wait to get you out on the road and camping thank you so much for tuning in